For a person who is from a non-IT background, building an app is very difficult and complicated because it requires coding. But most of the companies have introduced very such technologies that requires very little amount of code or low code. So with the help of these technologies, a non-IT person who have zero knowledge of coding can develop his or her application with the help of these technology. Hi, I'm Gaurav from Know How Academy. Nowadays, most of the companies have introduced low code technologies that ensures low coding. So with the help of those, we can build our apps easily and efficiently. We have heard the names of like Bubble, Flutterflow, etc. But the famous one is Microsoft Power Apps. With the help of our Power Apps, we just not create our application, but with the help of our Automate, we integrate automation flows, which makes our app more dynamic. So before moving further, let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. In this video, we will first create a list in our SharePoint. After that, we will integrate our list in our Power Apps Canvas application and we will create a task tracker application with the help of our Power Apps and SharePoint. Not just that, but with the help of Power Automate, we will create a flow to send email notification in our application. So first of all, here in my SharePoint list, I have already created a list named task and it has default column title and all the default column that it creates whenever we create a new list. You can add a new list by just going to your start page and here you can select your site and here you can select a new list so i have my list name task here now i will create a column we ha already have our title so i will take a multi-line text name description save also we will take a choice type to display the status of our task we will just take two first is our pending and second will be our completed default selected will be pending so we have our status column now i will take a daytime column to display our due date which includes time and save now we have columns title description status and due date also i want to display my id so for that i will just go to column settings here select show hide columns and check the id column so now we have our list ready after that i will just go to my power apps you can simply go to here like clicking power apps and here i have a blank application if you want to create a blank application you just need to go to here in your power apps and click on create and select a blank app and you need to select the create blank canvas app after selecting the name your app will be created so after that here will be our skeleton and this is our tree view which contains our default first screen which is screen one and here are our properties now first i will just click on add and here i will take a rectangle and below our rectangle i will add a gallery i have selected a blank gallery here and in our data i will search sharepoint after selecting sharepoint I need to select my site here and now I will simply select my list task to connect. So now our list has been connected. Now I will select my vertical gallery here and in my gallery I will simply select task which is from our SharePoint list. Now I will simply drag it like this. After that I will just remove the image and here from the tree view you can see what's present in our gallery. So here in our title we will display our title like this or we can simply cut this and i will select a text label which will be description i will drag it here and name it title now i will simply control plus c and control plus v first i will just add an item which will be first task will be development a b c and due date will be 12 and save now i will go to my database refresh and here you can see the values this will be our description after that i will just click on paste again and here it will be our status it is a choice column so i need to select dot value after that i will add our due date i will drag it a little and now i will add my checkbox here so that a user could simply complete the task by clicking on the checkbox in the text i will remove the text here now i need to add labels so i will simply drag a label here first one will be our title color will be our white this is the fill color i need to change this color okay we have title here the font size will be 15 and it will be bold now i will simply copy paste title description status due date and last will be our completed here I will write completed, simply drag it here and this will be our due date. This one will be our status, then our description. So here we have created our gallery 
Now, when I click on preview, so here our data is visible. Now, I will just add some filters here. So first, I will click here and write drop down and the value of our drop downs will be dependent on now here in our drop down i will add the items which will be an array first one will be our pending and second one will be our completed now here in my gallery i will write filter tasks comma status dot value equal to drop down to dot selected dot value and confirm so here we have added our filter condition so that our column status dot value should be equal to our drop down here in our drop down i will just simply change the name and write it status drop down now to check i will add another record in our list here i am writing marketing gef status will be completed date will be current date and save now in my list i will go here and simply refresh our list now when i select completed i am getting the completed record and when i select pending here is our pending also if i add here comma all and now i write if i will just simply expand it if drop down to dot value or we can say equal to all comma drop down to dot select it dot value equal to all then filter else display this so here we have added our if condition if our drop down value is not selected equal to all then filter else it will display the whole list now to test that if i select pending i am getting pending and when i select completed i am getting completed and when i select all we are getting both our records so this is about filtering with our drop down also if we want to filter with our name so i will just write here text input and now in our text box i want to search with our title or description i will name it search box default text should be enter text or i will just keep it blank now in our gallery i will click enter again open a bracket and here i will write search here will be our search box let me check the name again it is our text input so here i write text input one dot text comma title and close now we have added our searching here I will just click on format text so what have we done here we just added a search outside our if condition and when I click on preview to test when I write marketing so it has search marketing when I click on dev it is clicking dev so that's it about filtering and all now if I want to change something like I want to edit my details or add a new task so first of all I will just go here and I will select add icon i will just navigate it here give it a color white white and the background color will be transparent also i will add another icon which will be arrow i will take this icon and place it here now we have added our icon so first we need to add our new screen so here i will write new screen it will be blank and i will name it task details now in our task details i will click here and select add edit form and it will be dependent on our task so here we have our fields but we need more fields so i will click on add field here we have title description date time also we need to display our status so i will click on add here now to save our form i will just take a button here and here in my button i will simply first write submit also i will increase its height and give it a border radius of 100 or we can give it a border radius of 200 now in advance i will select the on select action which will be submit form and in the bracket i will select the form name which is form 5 and after that i will just navigate back to our screen its name is screen 1 but we will change the screen name i will name it task list now we need to create a variable to specify whether we want to edit or add our task so here in our add on select i will write set and i will create a variable and i will name it where form and its value will be new set now here we have added our navigation now going back to our task detail form in our form in the default mode i will need to select if where form is equal to new i will just write it here if where form is equal to new then comma form mode dot new and if where form equal to edit then our 
form mode will be edit and confirm now i will again click in my form and here i will select on success notify which will be data saved or i can just write task saved successfully and notification type will be success and timeout will be 1000 ms so after when our form will be saved we will get this notification and on our submit we have added submit form action and then we are navigating back to our task list so before testing that i will just simply drag this form downwards and i will add a rectangle here and then i will simply add a text label it will be middle line will be 24 and i will write task details and it will be bold and the color will be white also i will take an icon i will write here back the icon color should be white and on select it will navigate to our task list now when i go back here click on add here i am writing title which is pay hole or i can simply write pay role salary due date is our 10 5 and 4 status is pending and submit now we have our success notifications task saved successfully when i remove this i have gotten our task in our list now i want to update my completed task with the help of these checkbox and i want to know which of my tasks are completed instead of just seeing here so i will go here and here now to update i will just go to my checkbox and here i will select on check i will simply write now simply i will write patch then i will select our list name this item now i will open our curly brace then our value will be completed and done. also i want to display the completed like this one status is completed so again i will go to my checkbox here here in my tree view in my checkbox in the display the default value should be if this item dot status dot value equal to completed then true else false so here when i click here so here it is our updated value on check unchecking it won't change because once our action is completed we cannot change the status also i will add another condition here in our text and color i will write if this item dot status dot value is not equal to completed and this item dot due date is greater than today then the color will be color dot red also we will take another condition if this item dot value is completed this value is completed and due date this item dot due date is less than today then color will be green or we can simply take dot status dot value that it will be yellow and if now i will simply copy this one and paste here status dot value is completed then it will be color dot green and else it will be green so now we have added our conditions here if it is completed it will be green if it is pending and the due date is after the today then and now when i click on add here i write sales description is due date i will take simply 13 status will be default pending and submit i think we have mistaken in writing our condition so i will go here in the color if it is less than today greater than today then it will be red we have taken our edit wrong here in our arrow now i will simply add arrow and here i will write set where form comma edit and then navigate to our task detail to display our edit we need to write a formula which is lookup it will be our list task now i need to select gallery for dot selected dot id here id will be our selected id now when i go here and if i change my record and click on submit so here our color is changed now very simply we have created our form and we created our list view we used filters and created a search box here too and we used our patch function to update our tasks now i want to send an email to the master about the pending task so i will just go to my power automate on cleaning my flows i want that flow to be triggered every day so i will just go here and select automated cloud flow i will name it task reminder i will skip the first action turn off the new designer i will search here schedule recurrence frequency will be every day time zone will be 
our India start time. I will write simply 2024 slash 12 slash 10. After that, I will select the action get items to retrieve all my items in our SharePoint list. I will select the site. Then I will select the list, which is our task list. Now I want to add a filter here. So we have added our filtered query status is not equal to completed. Now I will send an email. So I will select an action, send an email v2 and here i will just take my email subject complete the tasks and here in the body i will add the title and click on save now i will simply test my flow here and i will open my email to check whether it has updated or not so here we have received our email so this is how we use our flow to send our email you can change the recurrence here by adjusting the frequency and time we created a SharePoint list. So in this video, we learned how to use SharePoint by creating a list. After that, we created our Power Apps application and integrated our list in the Power Apps. We use filters and search box in our gallery and implemented add and edit operations. After that, we created a flow to send the email for the incompleted task. Thank you for choosing Know How Academy as your IT source. We are always there to help you navigate to the tech world. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. So stay curious and keep learning.